us to do just one thing before we do that. Let's just celebrate the presence of the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords, the Ancient of Days. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's lift our hands towards heaven. Let's give him the praise. Let's worship and give him thanks. In the name of Jesus. For all the light that we received this morning, this afternoon. Come on, let's give him praise. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' precious name. I just want us to do one crazy thing. Here. One crazy thing that I want us to do. But that is in the direction of praise. And just also to stretch ourselves a little bit. Amen. Amen. Am I ready? Yeah. Praise the Lord. I know these are bishops, these are apostles, these are reverend. Is there somebody on the drums? Somebody on the drums? All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to start clapping our hands like this. Let's go. Clap your hands. Clap your Now, if I go fast, you go fast. If I go slow, you go slow. If I go this way, you go this way. Come on, let's go now. And we glorify your name. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Speak to us, Amen. Holy Spirit. As we look into your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Celebrate Jesus as you take your seats. And also help me celebrate Pastor and Mrs. Chikwenga. Joseph and Mary. It's such a blessing and honor to be here to share the word of the Lord with us. And obviously, it's, uh, it's, it's a joy to see Pastor George again. We were together in Lilongwe. Uh, it was such a blessing to see you there. Pastor Ruben, the wife, wow, you people are a blessing. Apostle Caswell, thank Apostle you so Caswell, much for all the servants of God that are here in absentia. Apostle um, Kandawire, we are so honored and blessed to be here. My assignment is not complicated. It's a simple one. I want to share something on uh, the subject that is titled Financing the Ministry. Now, you will bear with me because I believe the Holy Spirit has already given us the direction yeah. and, and what he is saying is one thing and I'm looking at I've been hearing words like capacity building in the spiritual capacity um, you know, living a life that you know glorify God. Thank you so much, Apostle Caswell, for that word that you just come. Because I'll simply continue from where he ended. I didn't come. My wife didn't come with me. She's back home. Family. I'm happily married. Those wonderful children for them. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God, we passed a church called the Revealed Word Outreach International. And it's domiciled in Lusaka. And so this afternoon, I just want to share with you. I won't take a lot of your time, but I want to. There are some people here that need this. And I know God gave the burden to his servant. 
Joseph for bringing us here together. Amen. I'll be talking about building capacity for excellence in ministry as one arm that will bring finances in the ministry. I'm talking about building capacity for sustainable impact ministry. You know that finance play a very huge, very fundamental role in ministry. In life and ministry. You know, sometimes you can be anointed, but because you do not have the means to have access to finances, you find that your ministry is frustrated. It's not that you're not gifted. But it's just that you don't have the finance to fund the ministry. But, but when I was praying and asking the Lord why, what I should share, because I am not a motivational speaker. So I will not come here and say 14 steps to financial what. But there, there is what the Lord has shown and by his grace he has helped me to learn a few things which I feel I need to share with you today 2 Peter chapter number 1 verses 10 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 10 and 11 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 10 and 11 the Bible says therefore brethren be even more diligent to make your calling and election sure for if you do these things you will never stumble for so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ make your calling and your election sure Make your calling and election sure. It is a responsibility to ensure that the ministry begins to bear fruit. It is with us. We are responsible, we are responsible for that. God calls us but we have to take a step we have to agree with God you have called me what must I do that is what Apostle Kaswa said it's something that you must first of all instead of rushing to do something find, find, us, find out first of all what and I think the pastor there remembers we've discussed this matter this issue with him Alright, so in ministry, please, I want you to know that it is not wrong for you to be successful financially in ministry. As a matter of fact, you would do more with finances than no finance. You can't reach out to the poor people in your community if you are broke. No matter how anointed your voice was, there are people who will not hear you. And it is, so it is so true that sometimes you can be so frustrated because you have the gift that the world is looking for, but it's locked up in a corner. I'm sharing with you this afternoon is that we need to build capacity. Because there are a lot of ministers who side with mediocrity. Because they have been beaten a lot in life. They have settled for less. There is nothing more to fight for. There is nothing more to do. So you find people that are preaching but they are they are they are they are defeated. And so we want to, to stare to something. something. And I'm trusting God that in this service here a mantle will fall on someone. That is going to make you step into another realm of commanding unusual financial resources. Beloved, I want you to hear this. No matter how convenient it may be, 
mediocrity. Never side with mediocrity. You just need to make your calling and your election sure. Listen to this. Every manifestation of the help of God through individuals is for the purpose of spreading the theme of God. When, when, God, when God blesses you as a ministry or as an individual, He is now trying to use you to advertise Himself to the world. You are the city that is set on a hill. You are the, you are the light that must shine in and you know Jesus Christ says in John 15 verses 8 He says herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit but what is the foundation for financial prosperity for individuals and ministries what is the foundation in the book of 3rd John 2 the Bible says the apostle is saying I wish your brethren I wish above all things this is his prayer that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. And now I am beginning to teach. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I wish above all things that ye may be in good health and even as your soul prospers. I wish you above all things that ye may prosper. Your soul must prosper. Your, your soul must prosper. The prosperity of your soul is what is going to trigger resources in your life. It doesn't matter how you pray. If you are not prospering inside you, you will still end up where you were. You will be redirected back to your default mode. Our challenge is not that we don't have resources. Our challenge is because our souls are poor. So there are a lot of pastors who are preaching powerful messages with their poor souls. They can preach what they don't believe. As a bishop or a devil says something, there are people that can talk about giving prosperity like they, can, they authored it. And like they authored but it. if you look at their lives, they have nothing to show. Now, please, I don't want you to be offended in what I'm saying. Today. I just want to steer somebody's faith. Because iron sharpens. And in the sharpening of another iron, there is a spark. There is a bruising. Yeah, so you can be comfortable at some point. Because it will come direct to you. Because we talk about it. If somebody he was getting annoyed because somebody was talking about finances. So if you are getting annoyed, annoyed, just know that that is where sidwa. deliverance is needed in your life. Can I hear an amen? Mm. Yeah, so when he's saying that, I want you to prosper in your soul. My God, your soul must prosper. And this is not the service where I have to preach like an apostle. This is the service where I have to teach like a teacher. So I must stand as an apostolic teacher. Because sometimes you must understand that miracles are found in the details. It is possible that you are doing fishing but you are lacking depth. And can I hear Amen. Amen. You see, the problem, the, the, the difference between a poor man, I'm, and, and when I say poor man, I'm not talking about one who doesn't have. When I say poor man, I'm not referring to somebody who is broke. That's financially doesn't have. I have seen people who have money who talk like poor people. Because you may have won a jackpot. You may have been given something that does not make you a better person than the one who does not have. So poverty is not in the lack of material. 
the kusau kasiguri nkani yote ulibechi tu poverty is in the lack of the quality soul kusau kasiguri your soul is so poor that it cannot attract anything mzimu wako ndio kuri ngosa uka kwambi kuti sunga kuope china so jake. when he says i yeah, wish that you may prosper and be in hell nofuna muta chita kwino muta lemera na kala kasira kwino your soul must prosper moyo watu what is that soul? soul your soul is where you find your mind moyo watu ndi mene mba pesa malikani that's where your will is ndi pa mene chifune ojano chiri that's where your mind is ndi jimene maimfa imfana and there is what you feed your mind ne pali jimene mba jesa malikani there are certain things that must be loaded in your mind pali sindu zina zimene zikwena zirowe makanzo the way you reason the way you think many of us pastors we rush at preaching but we do not involve our thinking and it's unfortunate that sometimes we we fail to realize that here on earth our mind must play a significant role ndipo chima da bwitsa kuti patiko la pasi pano pa malingaliro atha kwena kale gawo breakthroughs sungala ndire kuboleza kwa chuma your mind is weak ngari malingaliro wako ali ofoka and that's why the bible says in proverbs 23:7 chifaka bible ruku nenda kuyamba 23 and that he may prosper and be in health rine ndufuna ndito kwa mababa zonse i'm sorry as a man thinketh okay monga mene munthu aganizira in his heart mumtima mwake so is he the menesa aliri moses was a man that saw the power of god at work in his life moses nda mene anali munthu amena anaona pamfya mungu iko kwa chini but that he didn't know kwambana china chake mene sama and he needed god to give it to him amafunikira mulungu apasa with all the miracles that he saw he still demanded that he needed to know the ways of god this one that we saw zonse mene ana zona kwa maya na possibility amone senjira mulungu the possibility for us to walk in financial fortune is available kutekera kodi feri koso yenda mwe wachu makolipo ngoteka let me say it again Dineneso. it is very possible ndizoteka it is very possible Dizoteka. for you Dizoteka. to overcome your financial struggles kuri dikojese mafuto achu uma but the only thing is that you have not yet seen that possibility koma ngandi yoti sit na one kutekera kumenewa any truth that you have not captured in the word of god chirunga mochina chose mene sit na chigwire mawamu ruko not benefit you sichinga kupindulire it is truth but you are not aware of it ndichona di koma suku chizindikira it is truth it is truth ndichona di but you are not aware of it koma yesu na chizindikira it is only the truth that you are aware of ndichona di chimene wa chiziwa it is only the truth that you know ndichona di chimene wa chiziwa that operate in your life chimene chima kwina chindo moyo mwako say this ndinene ichi you see the allocation of the grace the reason why we are Chis, different in results chisomo chimene cha basidwa chifuka chimene feti rosiana mzosadi it's because we are also different in understanding chakuri ndifosi ana mkavetsetsa there is what that apostle was preaching here uh, before me but it's been abusa apostle amena malali kira apa even there to buy a piece of land along the lake shore zimene zikuwapangisa iwo kuti akagule malo mano mwanyanja there is what he is seeing that another person is not seeing but china jake chimene wina kuona chimene wina so so something tumuina anaona so chini he gave out 17 cars anapira kama gari moto 17 another person who say even his own relative got annoyed with him wina ane na kuti ikakhala bale akana nyasi the way he looks at things is not the way chifukwa mena kuonera zinthu si mena wina aliensa kuzionera you will see a man of god that is building a structure for god that is so amazing muzaona mtumiki wina akumanga kachiso ya wise kwa the revelation alimvumbulutsa and what backs revelation is knowledge chimene chima gurizana ndi vumbulutsa that that man knows chilunga mo chimene munthu chakodziwa instead of admiring a person's result malomongo sangalatsidwa nsosadya za munthu wina what do you know that i don't know ufufuze kuti nchani chimene kudziwa chimene lisindi kudziwa What is it that you know that makes you command what you are commanding? Ndi chani chimene kudziwa we chimene chikupasa kutekera kolamula zimene kolamula. Oh God. How many people here want miracles? Ndangari mwaifa mena kufuna zoda kuita. But let me tell you. That that miracles are the least. That so that we sense as ngono kwa mbili. Nza Kristo mkanda. That's why Moses says I want to know. Give me there is something you have not shown me. Moses anati ndufuna ndiwe. Moses saw all the miracles. Moses anaona zoda bwisa so. Any man that saw miracles Moses saw. Ngari banali munthu amena anaona zoda bwisa. There was a point Moses turned to God. Koma banali nthawi mena anatepindukira kwa mulungu. I need to know. 
Show me your ways. Don't send in Jirazam. Sir, you have seen the Red Sea. What more do you want to see? You, you, you have seen Pharaoh, how Pharaoh was advised to release Moses and his people. But Moses was, was asking God, I've been with, with you all this while. But there is something about you you have not shown me. Now show me your ways. And God was like, there is no man that can see me and leave. And that was where Moses was getting to now. Because Moses now needed to see the dimensions in God that he never knew. No matter what God has shown us, it is what we don't know about God. In this school, there is no graduation. We only make progress. Somebody say amen. Alright, so we need to to educate ourselves. In our Bible school, I, I was teaching on the education of the human soul. <laughs> Sir, our job must be, I know I've done so well in telling people that is one way to prosper. That that is not the entire entire you are wondering. There are so many people who have given and they ended up frustrated. I, I saw a man on social media that was claiming back all the tithe that he paid to a particular church. He says, I came kept all the records of his giving. And he says, the church, you told me that this is kingdom investment. I have not seen return on my investment. So I want to withdraw my money. Now, what was not working in his life was that he was giving as a poor man. When they are giving, and he was he claimed the money back. I wouldn't do the phone. What was the challenge with the man? He suffered. Then he remembered all the seeds that he gave. He says, I wish the seed I had. I invested it in business. I wish can you imagine? Of all places, he has forgotten that one time he was giving in the bar. He never he went, went back to the back to back. But church, he used the receipts that he was given. And he said, give me back my money. So lack of prosperity is a function of the lack on the inside of man. Every possibility that you will ever walk in must first be registered on the inside. You can't rise above the quality of your soul. Prosperity is a function of how you have structured your belief system. And let me just say this also that poverty is a condition that feeds on the lack that exists on the inside of man. So what are you supposed to do to experience financial? There is what? Yeah. That's why, that's why this conference. Do you, have you noticed that there is something that can happen to you and people will like you? Yeah. But there is also something that can start happening, can go wrong with you. That even the right thing that was supposed to happen, it to be working in your life, it stop working. Then what are you supposed to be then? That's simply so we can get money and give you. If you have not developed the capacity for that dimension of the resources allocated to you, do you know what will happen? You will spend all that money until it brings you back to your default mode. This, this is where you are supposed to be. There is no demon that is involved at this point. <laughs> 
Look here, if all of us here are pastors. Don't send if as a booster. There is a capacity that, like my country where I'm coming, Bishop Joy Makando, me people, you know people, Bishop Joy But you could take it and say to the church that no matter how much I have faith, at this level where I am, I have not built the capacity Bishop has now. No, if you get me and put me in the blessing center today, all right? You put me in the blessing center today, you'll be the next, you are the bishop today. What is going to happen is that instead of the ministry going, go, growing beyond where it is, it will be looking for a way to follow me at my level. So, what is happening is that I have not yet Listen, it's not that I don't have faith. No, I just this the lack of faith and lack of capacity. You see, you are losing things and you are blaming Satan. If we five, ten people leave your church, before you argue and blame them that they don't, they are not just loyal. They are what? sometimes you can trace their exit. How is it no cause? I want to look at Quaco. For they are going. Sometimes we are excited to receive members when they come into our church. But we don't like it when they leave. And sometimes we don't even check that the reason they are leaving is us. Yeah. That is what is whipping them out of the church. So you, 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 it means that you are a 30 member pastor. Yeah. So we can give you a branch church that is 400 500 and everything is working. Son says you can cheat. Enter the office. Give you five, two, three months. The members will be going. They will be going. And they will be going until they find you. You are brought to the level where you are supposed to be. You cannot command what is not on the inside of you. So before, for, before you start looking for increase, you must begin to ask yourself, is the increase I'm looking for with me? Do I have it? When the Bible says enlarge the place of your dwelling, Lengthen thy stakes. You, you shall expand. You will grow. But you have to be deliberate. Have you ever met pastors who are accusing fellow pastors that they are using juju? You know what is causing that? I'm not saying that the, everyone that is, uh, there are people who are, who are wrong. But how can you meet a man like the way Pastor Isa Banda and tell people to say, you know, he's the wrong man? Okay, okay, you you is right. Can you show us what you have done with your righteousness? Don't attend. No, this pastor, I think there's something they are using. But okay, you, what are you using? Where, where are the results that you are commanding? You see, because you have seen a result that is not yet in you, does not mean that the possibility for its manifestation does not exist. Let me say this again. Do you know that in Muzuzu here, what we follow, look for outside this country, it is here in Muzuzu. Yeah. 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 Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Yeah. 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 When I walked out of this place, I was, I was, God, I bumped into an Indian man. Like, maybe he's also a guest. Then I realized that ah, I think they are people. 
people that are managing this facility. What, what caused him to live where he was? What made him land in the wrong way? Take a journey from there. Come to Musuzu. You who was born here, you, you live here. You never saw it. Now, now you understand. We are paying who? This money would have remained with thee. Let me lower my voice. I don't want them to hear. This money would have remained with one of the pastors here. If you had built a facility that looks like this. But you know why you never built it? First and foremost, you never had an idea of it. Yeah, is this making sense? Many of us who have attended financial conferences, breakthrough, financial breakthroughs, Papa prophesy. How many hands have been laid on us? But we are not seeing what we are seeing. Poverty is the is 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 the result of the lack of insight. As us people that are here, let me lower the voice further down. Do you know that even where we are coming from, we may actually even be growing potatoes on top of where there is diamond is gold. We are not aware of what we have. We don't know. It will take another man. You just find somebody offers you money. A lot of money. They buy a property and you will see a financial breakthrough. Somebody came, said, How much is this land? We want to buy it. And then you say, they tell you to say, We want to give you 50 billion kwacha. And for a property that may be costing maybe 15 billion. And you, you see, he knows why, what he's buying. Have you noticed the way the Chinese are buying our properties? And they will buy, they put a war fence around it. They will not explain to you why they are buying like that. But what may be under that piece of land may be gold. Lack of insight. So what are we supposed to do there for? I'll give you just two, three points. And then then I'll I'll Number one, you need to build excellence in your spirit. Build an excellent spirit. How do you build an excellent spirit? Be given to the study of the word of God. Walking with the Holy Spirit. And that is what is going to change you. The... the, 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 the the children of Israel were given the promised land. And even after they went close to it, they were still not aware. Moses sent the, ten, the, the spies, 12 spies. Out of the 12, 10 came with a negative report. And they were still arguing. Two out of the 12 were positive. That is a big statement. Even in our setting, so like now, if God was to scan all of us and to rate our level of beliefs, you may find maybe three or four out of this number of people are actually available to be used of God in that area. And we are wondering why we are struggling. We are wondering why we are where we are. And so, but Joshua, when for a people in Numbers chapter number 30, to 30, uh, the Bible says, now they departed, and verses 30 particularly, the Bible says, Caleb quite Moses, and he says, let us go once. Come on, let us go at once. Somebody say we are going. Come on, say we are going. Somebody say we are going. We are going. Said we are going. We are going to do it in the name of Jesus. So men are supposed to build on the inside. It is what you have built in your spirit. Eventually become. Let me say it again. 
It is what you have built in your spirit that will eventually become your reality and your future. Your future is built in your spirit and it only finds expression on the outside. And that's why the Apostle Paul in Ephesians 3.20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can imagine or think think or imagine according to the power that is at work on the inside of us but it is according to the power that is at work on the inside of us you see so you have to you have to build that capacity on the inside of you trust me pastor even if we said no start doing this start doing this Lord, pastor was talking about don't rush into wanting to do things Lord, first of all sit down before, before you commit your, your, your hands, hands. Your, hands. Your, your, heart hands. Your, your heart must be committed a lot of people a lot of people's hands have been disappointed because their heart was not involved Somebody say amen. Amen. And there is nothing that is so frustrating. That you see a minister of the gospel that is manipulating the message just to extract something. Why do you want to conclude? You want to come up with a prophecy that does not exist. I mean, even his poverty, just sit down. And it's just giggling. Pastor Chikwe, the guy is here. This man has got the anti. This man can help you come out of that you can be delivered. Through the word of God. Through the teaching that he can give you. But it will not profit you to get to the place where you become a liar because of what you want to get. No, Why must you make it here on earth and miss heaven? What shall profit a man to get the whole world and lose his own soul? So, may the Lord help us to have authentic prosperity. So, you have to, to know that ministry is not structured into success. It is built in the spirit. My God. It is built in the spirit. How sure are you that you are going somewhere? It's not what you are doing. It is what has become of you on the inside of you. That is when you know that you are going somewhere. When I was, when I was working, I, I, I got this revelation and it just changed my life. So I pinned down my resignation. And uh, my MD calls me and he says to me, no ways. Where are you going? I said, sir, I, where I am going? I am so sure of where I am going. More sure of where I am going than where I am coming from. And are you not just being pushed by another organization? Said, and at that time, pastor, do you know that I had received about three promotions within a short period of time. I was now enjoying good money that was coming in. I was one of the senior managers in a very competitive organization in my country. And do you know that when I stepped out, I met a man whose sister is married to a pastor <laughs> and he knew me and he saw the kind of the kind of job I had and, and when he met me you know if you are in Lusaka there I, uh, you know I took the ministry office at Findeco House so I met him down there and, uh, and, and he, met, he said eh, are you still at that organization I, said, no, 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 I, I left he says you left which company have you gone to now? Then I said to him, I follow Jesus. Oh, sir, the man fell sorry for me. He said, I don't want to be with you. Oh, the man felt sorry for me that I also felt sorry for him. He felt sorry for me that I also felt sorry for him. 
Because he became so what? Okay, why couldn't you? But he was so worried. What are you going to feed the family? Yeah, I asked myself. I expected to receive encouragement from this. Is this how we do? We don't trust God. And then when when the man left, I started thinking to myself. This man, there is something that he doesn't know. And according to his word, you, know, you can't plant a seed and it remains the same. You, 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 I left the job, all I took was the whole career, I took it to the altar. Don't try this as home, at home if you have not become what I'm talking about. So I, I I terms and conditions apply. Items and conditions apply. And so what happened was that a few, it was I think a year or so after that, I went through, okay, I went through a, a moment of suffering. Then the Lord visited me. And so I was blessed. I had a beautiful Mercedes-Benz car. I loved it. I actually used that vehicle at one point to come to this place. I to beautiful. I loved it. I met the same gentleman. So I had parked this vehicle the other side. So he, saw, he didn't see me, he saw the vehicle. You know, there's a way you can see material without seeing the one that is. And so the man says, ah, Pastor, it's you. And I said, It's me. Whose car is this? I said, It is mine. Are you sure? What did you start doing again? I don't have to start. It's not in the doing. It is in the becoming. Who are you becoming? That's why when God wanted that vehicle, me, it was during COVID. You can imagine, sir. It was during COVID lockdown. I went to the office, and you went. You came at church. So there's something we wanted to do, and so I looked at that thing and I was asking God, church is not meeting. Where are we going to get the money to do this thing? Do you know that I heard God say to me, Give me your car. You have to walk with him for you to know that God is talking to you. I told the, the leaders and I said, Please, get this car. Whatever you do with it is none of my business. Sell it, all the proceeds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my wife asked me a question to say, now that you have given your car, what car are you going to be driving? I said, we'll be sharing yours. We'll be sharing yours. And then she says, ah, 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 mine, me, I'm very busy. I said, it's okay. I'll take a taxi. Yes. You see, leaving the job and leaving so many other things. My pastor see. was talking about so many things. Do you know that the only time that you will make sense in the hands of God how you came in us when you can see value in God more than Goli Day. Ndibamene we waona pindu kwa mbili mwemu lungu kusiana ndi silifa ni Goli Day. Do you know that God will now count you worthy of the assignment after your fishing business experience the net breaking result? That's when you say now follow me. Many of us, the reason why we're not commanding certain dimensions is because we left nothing. We don't have anything. And do you know why a lot of pastors are making blunders and mistakes in ministry today? It is because, let me let me see. Do you know, so, so that it doesn't sound very offensive. Do you know? That pastors who have abused members were are in the first place supposed to do the very thing even if they were working. They never saw money. Now that they have seen the money, they have become abusers. There are pastors who abuse members of the church because they give money. Listen, my, my daughter put fuel in the car. My, daughter, my son. Hey, 
What has happened? Church is taking chance. It's because you have become a hiring. You are a businessman. You end up business. When you see members of the church who are seeing your bills are met. I met a man of God who saw. He came to me and he said to me, Pastor, I saw a lot of cars at your church. Abusa, you are doing well. So there are cars outside. I'm doing well. Then that you put on a macarim or gunch and doting and do chita bueno. So you see cars. Ugona macarim. The next thing after cars. Then macarim or doka on. How much tight does it count? I want to say, come is menama wearing and such a one. This other one. Then you understand. The Kaone and Anuich move a sesa. So there is an authority that you need to win. There is what you can say. Oh my God, this is a pastor's meeting, right? Do you know that Moses was a man of authority? Moses, but even if we get you so and we take you right where Moses was standing, standing Moses stood here. Moses, this is the road Moses had. This is the Red Sea Moses divided. Now, divide. The Red Sea will not answer to you. The reason is because you have not become what Moses became. So you, you must know that men are not the same. We may wear same suits, same coats, look the same. We cannot command the same thing. And what we have become on the inside of us is what determines what we can call. I, I, I was saying things in church that were very strange. I, I said this church cannot be here. I'm sure there are people that are all watching this program online. They will tell you. I was saying this church cannot be here. And there is no tarmac. This one and his wife. Church is in the The tarmac came right where the church is. Then it diverted. I, I spoke it. Now, now you can get my words as in getting. Then get the words. And you also repeat them verbatim. And say, this church cannot be here. Church and there is no tarmac. And you are also expecting to see the same result. Until you know what I know. My God. My God. You, you want to build. You want to drive. It is not about those things. Those are, those are material things. They, they become you heard when the pastor was talking about giving 17 cars. He also tried to 17. give 17 cars if you have. Then you discovered that you were losing. He was gaining. Uh, but he gave 17. I also gave 17. Uh, you will be surprised that the reason why he is prospering is because he caught a revelation. There is something that now he knows. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I say this? Please be seated. Can I say this? Please be seated. So, you have to build. Capacity. So, and how do you do that? You have to invest in studying ministry. Of, you know, like this. There's a book the pastor has written. Um, there's, a, there's a book called Financing Financial Empowered Minister uh, and many other resources you can get those resources and just empower yourself what else are you supposed to do heal a grasshopper mentality don't allow limitations to dictate how you should navigate your life. In your life. There, there is a hope There are a lot of opportunities and challenges. There are a lot of doors that and gates limiting our lives. And then number three, guard your heart. Protect yourself from negative news and views. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But also watch your associates. Your, your, your associate very 
very jealously. And then number four, strengthen your inner man. By the word of God. Strengthen the inner man. Like I said, that it is the word that comes to hit your spirit. That's, that is what God, that's what now empowers you in the area where there's a need. There was one time Paul was preaching at Lystra. And, and there was a man that was born, he was lame. In the book of Acts 14, verses 7, the Bible says, as Paul was preaching, as was preaching, the man was hearing intently. And he perceived that this one has now failed. He has got now faith. There is somebody that is listening to what I'm sharing. And listening intently. Something is going to come upon you. As if something is going to come upon you. And you will receive strength. The day you will try to do what you desire. You see increase, you will see progress. In Jesus' precious name. And then you just see yourself making progress. What are you supposed? What are the practical steps? To command financial increase. What are they? You must know the law of seed time and harvest. You must engage with it aggressively. Don't be a person that is a stingy man. Have you noticed that? Um, there are people that they saw the, that we built a church uh, back home and the first thing they say the first thing they say is that pastor is connected that's a lazy man's observation you see how no, I think there are connections he has in the US. I think I know who are in the UK. America. UK. And you know, sometimes we have got guest friends that will come, the white people, especially that look very different from us. Now we see that Makanda and Ramina Monica Mosia and very serious conclude. Now I get to know. Arab and Obanda and Nukusi, what you folk are. This man is what a Chimene Kuru Yakuchi Rabino. Now, because I'm a black man that is coming here, you ne think that, 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 that we cannot do certain things. We are limiting our own destiny. We are limiting our own destiny. The ones that are going to change the dimensions of ministry in this country are not people from outside this country. We are the ones. Let us thank God for people that are coming. You people are responsible. You have to build that thing. You know, West Africa, we've met with pastors several times, a number of times in, in ministers' conferences. If you see the kind of ministries that are in West Africa, it will shock you. They, they, they are Africa. intimidating the way they move. Yeah. The, those ones. Politicians respect them. And Dale Amaba Saurem. As we respect politicians. If Fetima Lemekes and Dale, my God. When politicians come to our churches, and Dale Gabriel Machet Matu, from the top, Uchokera Kuntunda, to the ash, Kufikira Kwasha, they even, even if the guy did not have what to say. Inga kare mtu ya nadi bechola mkuu. Somewhere, somehow within the program, he has to say something. Mugati mwa programu ya timpa sachota la mkuu. And they always come and say, I didn't come to do politics here. Ya mane na utai ni sina bureau sabanga sanda. I came to worship with you. Na ngo bureau sango la bira na. And then they leave an offering of hundred thousand. Na si ya hundred thousand dollars. We are all clapping our hands. If you want to manage it, don't say. We that is that is a grasshopper. When we were preaching at this church yesterday, God was saying something. When, when are we going to grow as a church? When are we going to do things that even the government will appreciate what we are doing? Do you know why the government cannot carelessly rebuke the Catholics? priests? You know why? Those guys have got a, a backbone. They know how many schools, hospitals. Talk about how many. There are some of the people that are working in the same government who are who are beneficiaries of the Catholic schools. But do you 
the Catholic Catholic Church, you will not hear them preach the way as Pentecostals preach. But the law of sacrifice of the Catholic priests is shocking. Like the man went to study medicine, he's a medical doctor, and then he becomes a priest. A brother or a sister, a nun. The salary that should have gone to him goes back to the ministry. The family is not even a beneficiary of that. It's not even equivalent to the percent that we talk about. There's, those ones have given themselves 100%. They live on, I don't know what they, they live on those ones. One of our relations is one of those. Highly educated. But the man, he has nothing to take to his own relatives. That's why he's called the father. He's the father of every put. As we are talking about 10%. And the same 10% is a challenge. We can never build hospitals that the Catholics have built. If we don't have, have, look at the Vatican, for example. Vatican. The Vatican is government. Vatican in the, in the, in the bomb, Do you know that? The, state, what, the status the Pope has. Status the president, they are not closer to it. My president, the Vatican has got embassies. Vatican in the embassy. They can send an ambassador. They, they have their ambassador. own currents are made to understand. As we are just starting. And if you're talking about the, the confusion that is among the believers that talk about why tithing, people have the time to come online to talk about why tithing is not supposed to be there. And we need to be the craft of chess or media. And start and about why we, he has not even built a even a two-room house where he, keeping the offers. It's why it shouldn't be there it ended with the ending of the law of Moses as for us Jesus paid for it he paid it all beloved let us believe in the law of sowing give give right, so a church if you are not a tither please I want you to know that you are being yourself and also you must know that this is very scriptural right. in Malachi chapter number 3 Malachi chapter verses three. 9 and 10 verses 7 all the way to 10 you will see all that the Lord is saying to you Proverbs oh. chapter number 3 verses 9 and 10 the Bible says honor the Lord with your substance and with the, with the first fruit of your crops then your bags will be filled to overflowing and your past will brim over with new wine. Give, Jesus says, and it shall be given. A good measure. Second Corinthians chapter number nine, verses six to eight. Remember this: Who ever soweth sparingly, will also reap sparingly. Who ever sows generously will also reap generously. So each of you should give what you have decided in your heart not reluctantly or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful giver and God, God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things and at all times having all that you need you will abound in every good work you must give and give and give but also know there are vessels that God has used for example let me give you this testimony. I'll give you the practical steps then and close. Let me give you this testimony. The Lord gave me an instruction. When I was working there, and the instruction was that whatever they'll pay me as my last earnings from that company, whatever they'll as this is yours. That I worked. They get, they pay, it wasn't much, but they paid me, and that money meant a lot to me. That that day, day, the pay, the instruction was that I shouldn't touch that money. I should show it as a seed. And I sat with my wife. 
this is not going to take us anywhere yeah, so let's just so I was looking for an opportunity. Then I went to do my, my studies. I was in Nigeria, Lagos. So I was in Kenan land. And I was looking for an opportunity to meet God's servant bishop. Oh, yeah, but I never saw him. But I, met him. I gave her that. I gave her that. And then she looks at me. Why? Why are you coming? If I didn't even introduce myself, the wife. And the wife looked at me. And she she just spoke away. Then I left. That very night. That very, I'm talking about. I've not even started ministry. I don't even know the name of the ministry. And this time it is 2014. Right. So and I I I left that very night. I had a very strange encounter. I, I, I saw like in my dream I was I was walking. I was going to see Bishop. Then I met his driver. He had parked Bishop's car by the side of the road. It was a 4 by 4 white car. And so I asked him, I said, please, would you help me with the transport? I want to go and see Bishop. He said, no problem. I sat in Bishop's car at the back. And the man is driving me. He was talking about it. One of the, our people was talking about encounter. And he was driving me, taking me to Bishop. And something supernatural happened to me. I, my suit changed. It started looking like Bishop's. And my shoes changed. They started looking like bishops. Two weeks after that moment, I heard God speak to me. That it's time to go back home. You got what I sent you here for. I called my wife said, please reschedule my flight. I am coming. Oh, okay. God has, it, it's done. When I came back, what I say, I see it. The way we built that church, we had, I don't know how much you see, is, is uh, 5,000 Zambia to Malawi. At the time, God that we should buy land. And the kind of land that we were daring to buy was Malo, I mean, about 50,000 US dollars just to buy. Uh, when I said it, Did heaven responded. I will say some things, and if I go into what God has done, like what, what we will not finish. We are inside a building that was not there as 2015. But 2015, the pastor who was there in Zambia, pastor from Winners Chapel, he came visiting our church. And there is what he said. He says, we have sons of the prophets here. And pastors. But there is something that you caught. There is something that you have. That is very strange. I would want to bring some of my pastors to and just explain to them what is this that you have. What is it that has made you do what I you will say say something something And it is done. Now God has, there's a church that invited me. But church and, and I was ministering in that church. Then the pastor says, please, I want to show you where we are. There's a piece of land. I want you to go I, went went the, and I said Malo. certain words that piece of land. And the church ended up having what we don't have. I, 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 said, I said such as I have. May you have it. Sir, I was, I was, I was, uh, this is how I prophesy. So I started my work. Uh, one time I was, I was, I was at home. So I came out of, of the house. We had chickens run, chicken runs where we keep chickens. And we have tenants on the other side. So I went, I saw a young man who was cleaning his bicycle. I think he was washing the bicycle. I don't know the name of but then I said to him, I like what you are doing. If, if you can take care of a bicycle like this, I'm only imagining what you would do if you had your own car. And, and, so, and I said to him, may, may the Lord may the Lord give you your own car. That was a school leaver. A boy who just finished grade 12. 
and he, he never even had a license he was a single mother keeping him and I said, Maybe you have your own uh, not long after that there was a supernatural intervention Pastor Ruben was talking about the prophet's reward there was a supernatural intervention in the life of the mother the mother had just a financial breakthrough and the financial breakthrough also came with an instruction he looked at the son and said my son you have been very good to me a very loyal son I don't know what to do to reward you for being a good child but I want yeah. to give you a gift and guess what it was a car the boy did not even know how to drive. The, the boy and the boy entered into what? Sometimes at one point before, when, before we even we were still in the tent. I went to see Bishop Makando. I didn't even explain a lot of things. I packaged a small offering in the what? What that we were still struggling. And I went to you and I said, Man of God, I'm come to see you. Where are you? Where is the ministry? You know, Bishop. Father. I, I told him my challenges. What? What? Now, says, okay, sit sit down down here. Here. Let me give you seven points. And I was you to, seven. to see progress. And I took a design. pen and paper, started writing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. I wrote, Nali. and then I left. He asked me, "Who is this? Is mine?" I said, "Yes, it is yours." Do you know that when I was seeing Bishop, that was 2016. When I was Bishop, that was 2016. By the time 20, last year was what 20. 2022, 2022, I went to see Bishop and I said, Bishop, please, would you come and dedicate our sanctuary? Now, Bishop came. I remember Bishop, Bishop we're in the office. I said, Bishop, do you remember that I was in your office? And I said, Please tell me. And you told me one, two, three, four. Things. Bishop looked at me. He said, I saw. <laughs> and excited, Bishop came. And the bishop looked at that. And the bishop was the one cutting the ribbon. I am, I am standing here as a prophet of God. And I know that there are people here. The next time the international ministers conference is happening in this city of Mzuzu. Next time you will have a segment of testimonies. And somebody you will be testifying of the changes that would have taken place in your life. You will look back and see how far you left struggle. And how far God would have elevated you. I prophesy in your life in the name of Jesus that any form of limitation on your life on your finances on your ministry today catches fire and is arrested in the name of Jesus I now decree open doors open doors for ministry and faith yes in the name of Jesus I decree now that what you have been looking for will begin to look for you what you have been chasing out after, we we'll begin to chase after you in the name of Jesus. That limitation in the area of your finances is arrested right now. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to here now, but I decree upon your life that today marks the beginning of a new season in your life. What you consider as a struggle in your life is arrested right now in the name of Jesus. Where that you are deposed wherever that you are I decree the favor of God upon your life the land where you are standing where your ministry is is going to experience a turnaround it's going to experience a turnaround it's going to experience a turnaround favor is coming upon your life favor is coming upon your ministry favor is coming upon your life in the name of Jesus and as you begin to serve God may heaven respond in your life in a mighty way in the name of Jesus I decree supernatural turn around supernatural turn around supernatural increase supernatural increase supernatural increase supernatural increase in the name of Jesus
Mandele, ba, 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 ba. Come along from now. Somebody's capturing it by the spirit. We you are going to spirit. receive the feather of God. The, the feather of God upon your life. The feather of God upon your life. The feather of God upon your life. Such that, listen, let me tell you. The kind of favor that you're going to receive, you will have finances you have never seen. Now, instead of you buying what does not matter, you are going to build the church for God. My God. I said you are going to build the church for God. And the next minister's conference will be, will be in that place. I don't know who is that person here, but you are about to receive something. Who is it that is saying, Lord, I am here? Lord, I am available. That vessel that you want to use, I am available. I am available. I am available. I am available. Use me as a vessel. Use me as a vessel. Let me be a channel. 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 My God. Zekida, Kapapates, Leketeli Babahas, Kadama Babos, Keleva Baba, take it, take it. In the name of Jesus, 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 receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Kateshe Padia, take it. Every struggle ends here now. Whatever was not working in your life begins to work now. It begins to work now. I prophesy increase. Forward movement. Forward movement. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus, take it. 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 Take it, there's a fire that is coming upon somebody here. The grace of God, take it. Grace of God, take it. Take it, take it, take it. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, it is yours for a take. It is yours for a take. It is yours for a take. I think we every struggle comes to an end. Every limitation is broken. Every stagnation is arrested. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Sakada. Kayalabas. Hey, hey, hey. Tato Sekata. Kayalabas. Take it. Take it. It's yours. You will manifest greatness. You will manifest greatness. It comes upon you today. It comes upon you today. Every demon of struggle is arrested. Frustration is arrested. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, take it. Masigas, mananamos ya bahas. Take it, take it, take it. Landilan. Ayaya bateke pote. Ila baba baba bos. Bateke. Ine baba baba bos. Baba baba in the name of Jesus I, oh, there is a royalty dimension that is coming my God there is a royalty dimension people will look at you and they will say are you a businessman or a pastor they won't be able to tell because you manifest what only businessmen are manifesting and what prophets are manifesting you are going to manifest something that is so unique 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 you are still capturing something from the head <laughs> Ay 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 
Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just lift your hands and stretch them towards the Lord. God is giving someone here. When I walk around the city of Mzuzu, I see opportunities. I don't know where you came from, but there are opportunities there. 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 there, are there are people here. Yesterday I was talking about cutting the ribbons. Cutting the ribbons, dedicating some things. Dedicating some things. Pastor, you are going to be dedicating things. Dedicating things. You'll be dedicating things. You will be dedicating things. You will be dedicating things. You will be dedicating things. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to here today. I see businesses being dedicated. In the name of Jesus, you are going to be an apostle. What God has given you is not just the knowledge. Behind it is a mantle yeah, that will actualize. So one day you will be talking about it. What you'll be talking is what you are manifesting. That's what you'll be talking. So even when you are quiet, something will be talking. That's why when I was in that church, the word God spoke, spoke to me about. That that you, church, you, church, you, are, you are a caretaker pastor there. Because he's taking you to go and break other grounds. Yeah. So what is going to happen is that we, this ministry is going to grow. And there will be people that you have touched who reach out to you and say, Pastor, please come and dedicate this thing for me. And and you will be, be, be giving, you will be delegating. You say, look, I'm busy, I'm somewhere this side. But, but, but let another person, you will send Pastor Ruben there and others. Say, please, Pastor Ruben, help me dedicate that thing for me. In the name of Jesus, the center of it all. Lift your hand someone. God is pulling you from a dungeon. There's somebody you have been in serious problems financially. You have been in the deep but God is reaching out to you. The angels of God are pulling you up. Somebody's hand is being pulled. Somebody's hand is being pulled. And somebody here, the power of God is going to come upon you. And that's how you are coming out of that, that jungle. You are coming out of that dungeon. You are coming out of that You are coming out of that prison. In the name of Jesus, I stretch these hands towards you now. In the name of Jesus, receive strength. Receive strength. In the name of Jesus. The of God is so strong here. Yeah. And there are business people here. Yeah, you, you, you came from South Africa, you are doing business. The Lord is, is, is going to visit you. Your business will never be the same again. I was dedicating somebody's business, now he has branches. And as I speak to you, there are people that I have, the Lord has helped me to work with, and I have seen the help of God in their lives. There is one man, one man who is not even a member of our church, just came and gave the church the bus to say it will be working here. Every but it goes to another church. church. The Lord is going to empower you. In the name of Jesus. Cash. 
miracles happen in your in Jesus precious name I wanted to give you the practical steps but Fra I won't because time is not there how we my friend was in my practical steps but here is the same there is power in your name. You, you are going to see the help of God. Be open to instruction. Receive correction. And apply the knowledge that you have received. You will never be the same again. Let's celebrate the King of Kings.